Welcome back dear students. Today we will be trying to finish exercise 21D and today we are going to start with question number 7. Right, so remember we are doing cylinders. Question 7 says the total surface area of a cylinder is 6512 centimeter square and the circumference of its basis is 88 centimeter. Find its radius and its volume right see here carefully first and foremost what is given to us is total surface area okay and circumference of the base is given so given is so first me first let me allow to write down the circumference okay so circumference is given to be of the base is given to be 88 centimeter now, all of you know, formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So, 2 pi r is basically 88 here. Okay. Now, let's find the value of r from here. So, we have 2 into pi is 22 by 7. r, we don't know. So, it is 88. Right. So, from here, r is equal to 88. The 7 goes up. Right. And in the denominator, we will have 2 into 22. Right. So, if you do the cancellation, 2 1 2, 2 44 is 88, 22 into 1 is 22, 22 2 is 44. So, when you multiply these two, your radius turns out to be exactly 2 into 7 is 14. Okay, so therefore, first one is radius, isn't it? So, radius turns out to be 14 and the unit that you are using here is centimeter. This is my first answer. First answer. Second, they are asking you to find the volume, but given is another thing that is given to us is total surface area, isn't it? So, given is total surface area is 6512. Now, formula for total surface area is 2 pi r into h plus r, right? So, this is 6512. Okay, now look at this carefully. 2 pi r. What is 2 pi r? 2 pi r is 88, isn't it? So, 2 pi r in place of 2 pi r, I am writing 88 into h plus r. What is r? r is 14, isn't it? So, we get 6512. So, from here, keep h plus 14 as it is. Okay. So, this 88 goes to the denominator, isn't it? Now, do the cancellation. Okay, so when you do the cancellation, 6512 divided by 88, when you do the cancellation, you get this equals to 74. So from here, h will be equals to 74. This goes out there because minus 14. So when you subtract, you get 60. That is the height. H stands for height, isn't it? So height turns out to be 60 centimeter. Okay, now question is asking you to find volume. So therefore, your volume is going to be, so volume formula is pi r square h. Okay, let's put the value. So, pi is 22 by 7, r is 14. So, r square becomes 14 into 14 into h, h is 60. Okay, do the cancellation, 7 1 is 7, 7 2 is 14. So, we have 2 into 22, okay, 22 into 2 into 14 into 60. So, when you multiply all of them, you get 36,960. So, since this is the volume, your unit is going to be centimeter cube. Okay. So, you may pause the video and note down your first solution. Okay. So, we will take the next question. So, next question says, uh, the sum of the radius and height of a cylinder is 37 centimeter. So, given is sum of the Radius and height, that is h plus r is given to be 37 centimeter. And total surface area of the cylinder is 1628. Okay, and total surface area is given to be 1628 centimeter square. Now, what is formula for total surface area? It is 2 pi r into h plus r, isn't it? So, this is given to be 1628. Now, h plus r is given to be 
37 so we have 2 into okay so we have pi is 22 by 7 isn't it now we don't know the value of r and we know what is the value of h plus r h plus r is given to be 37 okay so this is equals to 1628 so from here we will calculate the value of r okay so we have 1628 so this 7 goes and gets multiplied divided by this 222 and 37 comes to the denominator okay so do the can can cancellation out here so 1628 into 7 divided by 2 divided by 22 divided by 37 gives you see after the cancellation this entire thing will give you exactly 7 okay now so therefore you got radius to be 7 isn't it now question is asking you to find the height and volume of the cylinder okay so since we have h plus r equals to 37 so from here we'll put the value of r so we have h plus r r is 7 so this is 37 so from here bring this 7 out there you get 37 minus 7 so 37 minus 7 is 30 so what is h actually h is the height isn't it so therefore we say that height of the cylinder height of the cylinder is 30 and the unit that you are using here is again centimeter so this is the height now next you need to find what is the volume so therefore your volume will be volume of the cylinder will be you know formula is pi r square h so all of you know pi is 22 by 7 r is square what is the value of r r is 7 so r is square becomes 7 into 7 into h h is 30 here so 7 7 gets cancelled okay so 22 into 7 into 30 so 22 into 7 into 30 will be equals to 4620 and since this is the volume so that's why your unit is going to be centimeter cube right so pause the video and note down your solution let's move to the next question now next question says cylindrical pillar has radius of 21 centimeter and height of 4 meter okay so see here carefully so given is for the pillar radius is given to be 21 centimeter and your height is given to be 4 meter okay now you need to find curved surface area first one is this one second part is cost of polishing 30 sink such cylindrical pillars at the rate of rupees 12 per meter square okay so this says that you need to find your area in meter square so that's why i need to convert this centimeter into meter so for that divide 21 by 100 you get 0 0.21 meter okay so this is my radius now let's find what is the curved surface area so number one curved surface area so formula is 2 pi r h okay so we have 2 pi is 22 by 7 into all right so instead of writing this so let's write this as 21 by 100 okay so that will be better okay so 2 pi r r is 21 by 100 into h h is 4 okay so let's simplify this so on curve surface area turns out to be this is uh, 3 times so when you simplify this 2 into 22 into 3 into 4 divided by 100 will be exactly 5.28 okay so this will be 5.28 centimeter square so this is the curved surface area remember now you want to polish the cylindrical pillar so obviously when you polish you polish the only curved surface area isn't it you don't polish in the bottom and the top isn't it you just polish the curved part of the cylinder so basically you, what you need to do is you need to multiply the curved surface area that is 5.28 by the cost that is rupees 12 so that will give you cost of polishing one cylindrical pillar okay because the uh, curved surface area of one pillar is this much isn't it so number two we will find uh, rate of polishing is given so rate of polishing 
the pillar. So it is given to be rupees 12 per meter square. Okay. So therefore, cost of polishing, cost of polishing, how many? 36, right? 36 such pillars will be equal to rupees. Now see, 12 is for 1 meter square. But for one cylinder, we have area is 5.28, right? So this much will give you cost of polishing one pillar. But we have got 36 pillars. So that's why I need to multiply this by 36. Okay. Now let's quickly find this. So 12 into 5.28 into 36. So when you multiply this, your answer turns out to be rupees 2280.8. Nine, six. So this much money you need to pay for polishing 36 such pillars, right? So you may pause the video and note down your solution. Let's move to the last question for the day. So question says, if the radii of two cylinders are in the ratio 4 is to 3 and their heights are in the ratio 5 is to 6, find the ratio of their curved surfaces. Okay, so there are two cylinders. So let me call this as cylinder one. Okay, so we have got cylinder one and we have got cylinder two. Okay, now see, if I call the radius of this to be R1 and radius of this to be R2 and uh, if I call the height of cylinder one to be H1 and height of cylinder two to be H2, then what you can do is, see, R1 is to R2 is given to be four is to three. 4 is to 3. So that's why I'll take this as 4x and I'll take this as 3x. Now take the ratio, you get 4 is to 3. Okay. Now the heights are in the ratio 5 is to 6. So this time I will take 5y and this time I will take 6y. 5 is to 6. Okay. So when you find the ratio of h1 and h2, you get 5 is to 6. Now why am I not writing x? Because you have already used x here. So that's why I'm making use of y here. Okay. So I'm just doing the assumption. Okay. So let R1 equals to 4x, R2 equals to 3x, H1 equals to 5y and it's 2 equals to 6y. Okay. Now question is asking you to find the ratio of their curved surfaces, isn't it? So therefore, ratio of their, their curved surface areas. Okay. Curved surface areas will be equals to now, curved surface area of the first cylinder will be 2 pi r h. This is a formula, but in place of r, I'll write r1 and in place of h, I'll write h1. Similarly, for the second one, your curved surface area becomes 2 pi r2 h2. Now, it's pretty clear that 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Similarly, pi and pi also gets cancelled. Okay. Now, this is equals to r1. r1 is 4x into h1 h1 is 5 pi is to r2 r2 is 3x into h2 h2 is 6y again here if you see x and x can be cancelled y and y also can be cancelled okay now here 4 and 6 can be cancelled so 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 is there any other thing getting cancelled no so that's why see here we get 2 into 5 is 10 is 2 3 into 3 is 9 so the ratio between their curved surface area turns out to be 9 is 10 is to 9 in this way okay so with this we close our exercise 21d okay and with this we finish our chapter on surface area volume and capacity one more exercise is left you can try that exercise by yourself thank you very much